Hey, zdravo, uh, Borut uh, from Slovenia here. This vlog, it will be a bit different. Uh, more in an editorial sense. You see all this work? I've made all this work before I went to Paris. And, um, and now I'm editing. And I have a problem. Usually what I do is when I record these vlogs is I I record the parts when I'm setting up the camera, pouring collodion, developing collod uh, collodion plate, and when, when the, the plate is done, when the plate is really nice, then I go back and I play these roles, you know, how I'm putting the plate holder inside and focusing and all that stuff, you know, um, just to fill up, you know, to make the whole story told. But this time it will be different. Uh, I had quite a lot of problems. I had quite a lot of fogs and then this collodion got torn while drying and so on. Anyway, you'll see. Bear with me. Uh, yes, it was very difficult, but on the end of the day, I've made really nice work. Thank you for watching. This is my best result today. And I'm not satisfied. I'm not disappointed. I mean, disappointed. I don't know. But you know, I usually I, I'm doing it on glass and on glass there are not those lines. I don't know why they are here actually. 
maybe I developed still too long, uh, although I diluted the developer and cool it down and everything else. That's how it is. The rain is just about to start and, you know, I have to call it a day. Thank you for watching. Oh, uh, one more last, the la last, last, last thing. I just want to say, I uh, just want to express my thank you and my gratitude to mosquitoes. Uh, today they really made me feel loved and wanted and cherished and, uh, and that's what we art artists need, you know. So if you don't mind, you know, press like and subscribe. Guys, I came back. Uh, you know, I was thinking at home, what was I doing wrong? And I thought, hmm. I think I know. So, you know, I just had to come back and just try it out. And, you know, consequently, I made a perfect plate. Uh, it's not backed with black, so I'm not sure how it will be seen in, uh, in this vlog. But, you know, at, in this atelier, I will back it with black and uh, make a nice reproduction. So, everything works fine. The only thing is, today, it's uh, quarter, no, it's half past uh, noon and the rain started again and i'm in the middle of the exposure and you know i you know what i'm not stopping i will make this exposure happen i'll just cover big berta and that's how it is Actually, exposure is great. There is no sign of drying out collodion plate after 16 minutes of exposure. But because I covered Big Berta with a cloth, it made a slight move. And now we have shaken, but not stirred. Okay, the first day I, uh, this is my best result from the first day. Uh, this is a tin type, it's on black aluminium, on the bond, um, and uh, I got these lines in black. I never had that in, uh, in, on glass, uh, so this is a little bit per peculiar, particular material and um, I didn't like it. I went back the second day and I've made this um, tin type. It still has a little bit of dots here in black, all the rest is perfect but here in this in this side is a little bit um, has some signs which I didn't like of course like uh, on, on glass there was no problem whatsoever but when I was drying I didn't have I don't have such a big drying rack I I lean it against the wall and uh, water was flowing down and this was remaining wet where this was totally dry and it cracked on my my heart just sunk, um, so I had to go back for the third day.
we are back in atelier. Um, I brought, after I developed the pictures, the plates, I put them in this, I put, it, I put some glycerin on top. Uh, I diluted one plus three with water. I uh, put it on top, I store it here. And now here we have um, unfixed, uh, unfixed plates and here we have fresh fixer. You know, actually I underestimated the, and I brought not enough fixer and was just exhausted too much. Anyway, let's fix this one. but this this tray is leaking you see the hole okay, another note to myself I need much stronger uh, trays for working outdoor this was just broke and you know my fixer leaked out okay note to yourself not to me but to yourself is this this plate is already fixed I fixed this is the first plate I've done today so I, I had enough fixer to fix it but now when I'm back, um, I'm refixing it. Just have in mind, I use the humectant, the glycerine, so the collodion will not... So this plate actually never dried. This is very important. Don't put the dry plate back into the water or fixer. So this is the only uh, good fixer. Good fixing is the only guarantee for longevity and our high -vol quality of this plate. Because I want that this plate lasts longer than me and longer than you as a buyer. <laughs> In the third day, I made this uh, perfect tin type. What I've done is actually I've done just the opposite what every book is recommending. So yeah, it was hot, it was summer, but I actually made a developer much more concentrated. So developing time was around five, six, seven seconds maximum because my developer was like, I'm usually using Osterman's standard developer. So he says, if I remember correctly, four and a half grams of silver, uh, ferrosulfate in 100 milliliter, I almost doubled. I had, I had seven grams. Doesn't matter, the recipe is not important. The recipe is just like a cooking. It's, the results are important. Because developing was so fast, uh, and I also have to stop it really fast, I have to stop it really fast, but consequently, the blacks are pure without any lines or any artifacts, Mwah. perfect. Okay, that's the end of the vlog. That's the final picture. I mean, I made a couple of more uh, on glass, but on tin type, is, uh, on debond, on aluminium, only this one is technically perfect. 
let me just, if you are a practitioner of wet plate collodion process, let me just go, just tell you very fast that uh, I came up with this solution of very concentrated developer because I have seen, I have observed uh, that uh, longer the development, more, more of those dots and lines. Um, I have noticed on forums that some people already also had that on uh, their tin types. But now you have a solution. I usually don't work on tin type, but I came up with it, you know. So just make a very concentrated developer and f develop it really fast and wash it really fast. That's crucial, you know. Don't overdevelop, you know. If you're developing five or seven seconds, it's like a success or failure, you know. That's how it is. That's how sharp uh, the decision has to be. But, you know, you try out and you see what works. So this one worked really nicely. And um, I'm putting it on eBay as an auction from 0 0.99. That's the curse being a professional photographer, you know, because I have to sell my work. And I want to sell, you know, and I've been a commercial photographer for so long and I and I've sold so many bad photos and I've got a lot of money for it. You know, I build my house with advertising junk. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, now the times are, have changed. I grew up and I'm selling the photos that I really love. And, um, and that's actually a curse, you know. I'm selling a photo that I really love because I know that the person who will have, who will have it, who will own it, will also love it. And we'll take care of it. Uh, okay. One more thing. Thank you to my Patreons. Uh, to my Patreon for Virginia. Hey man, I forgot. I forgot <laughs> to send you a spring, spring um, thank you gift. So this one is yours plus some extras like a book and some other stuff, catalog. Thank you for support and thank you to all patrons. Uh, I am planning to send you by the end of the end of the what? End of the summer uh, a thank you gift. At least uh, in August, September, September for sure. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, press like, leave a comment. I would really like to hear hear from you if you also had this kind of uh, those lines from uh, tin type thin type uh, medium and uh, how you solve it. Thanks for watching and uh